as you know, we met in first grade. Although I cherish Susan as her seven-year-old self, I must admit that the best version of her was when she met Graham. So our freshman year of college, I get this text from Susan one day, and she's like, I'm driving down to Roundup, and I'm driving with the hottest guy. He has the best playlist. Oh my gosh, like he's so hot. <laughs> well, obviously Graham's playlist was pretty good because now we're at their wedding. Here we are. This, this is a really fun couple. I've known them from such a young age. I grew up with Graham. Graham was whatever. <laughs> he met Susan, and they really taught me a whole lot. Just about life in general, about what love is, what, what everything is that involves relationship. They just have such a great bond, and, uh, and you know, have a electricity or fire about them that, you know, you don't always see in a lot of a lot of relationships and you know it's it's a rare find but it's it's a great find when you do find it Ruth Razor glass to a new journey and a long prosperous life together Dear Graham, wow, I can't believe today is our wedding day. The past seven years I've spent with you have been the highlight of my life. Lots of laughter, cuddles, hard times, but mostly happiness and joy. Dear Susan, who knew one ride would change our lives forever? I guess in a way that ride never really ended. Ever since we got in that car, we began a journey that will last a lifetime. I know as long as we continue to honor these vows and love one another, that nothing can tear us apart. On behalf of the Barry and Troll families, I want to welcome you to what undoubtedly will be a very special evening, and undoubtedly a heck of a party later. Marriage is often described as the greatest and the most challenging adventure of human relationships. So no pressure. Graham, I give you this ring as a token of my love. Wear it. Wear it. And know that I love you. And know that I love you. Graham, do you come here freely and without reservation to give yourself to Susan and Mary? If so, answer, I do. I do. My hope for you as the years come and go, may you have many years to delight in each other's company and to love and to be loved by the friends and family that come here today to support you. Susan, you may now kiss your husband. Ladies and gentlemen, our newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Graham and Susan Troll. We are the one. We are you. When Susan was about 11 years old, her friend Emily Sims, one of our maids of honor, was at the house and Susan begins to talk about how her and Emily, they're going to marry rich Italian princes. <laughs> They are going to live in a castle together and raise their children there. And while this is clearly not Italy, this is the Texas Hill Country, uh, I think Susan would tell you that she in fact has found her prince in the Texas Hill Country. I guess castles and kids to follow.
I thought I'd be a lot more nervous as I approached this day, but I am surprisingly not nervous at all. As a matter of fact, I'm confident. Confident in what we have together. Confident in where we've been. Confident in where we're going. Not knowing where this adventure will take us, but confident nonetheless. I love all our adventures together, meals we cook, walks with Leo, trying new restaurants, sushi dates, lazy Sundays on the couch. Our love is like nothing I've ever experienced. You truly make me so happy. I promise to always love you and support you. I vow to care for you, provide for you, and love you. Always. No matter what.